Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you for coming back to my channel. It's Chris with Exotic Car Wash and Detailing. Today, we're gonna be reviewing Purple Power. We're gonna use it on the wheels, the tire, and the wheel wheel to see how good it is. I usually use for the tire, I usually use the 3D APC diluted one to one. And for the wheels, I use my wires old ultimate old wheel cleaner. So this one is like around three bucks, the 32 ounce bottle. You can get it in a gallon for around four fifty dollars, and the two point five gallon you can get it for like twelve bucks. So. We're gonna see if this one can replace the degreaser and the cleaner that I usually use because this one is super cheap and if it gives me the same results that I get using the other products, I think this might be a good switch. Also, the tool we're gonna use is a long handle brush. This is soft brush, I got it on 3D uh, stores. The wheelbarrow brush, so you can go inside and clean it. We're also gonna use the stiffy brush to clean all the tire. The soft brush for the wheels. And this little brush for the lug nuts. So let's get it started. Okay guys, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rinse the tire with some water to get some of the dirt and the dust off of the tire. And then we're gonna spray on our Popo Power and we'll see. Look, guys, this just break. So let me go inside and grab another spray bottle. We're gonna switch this into another spray bottle and we're gonna go back to our pro. Okay, guys, we're back. So we're gonna pour our purple power in this bottle and then we're gonna spray it since this one just broke right now when I was about to do the video so let me pour this and I'll come back to you guys okay guys I'm back it didn't fit everything in the bottle but this one is full strength I didn't dilute it so we're gonna see how what the results gonna be how everything's come out and let's spray. Ah, that was funny. We're going to go inside the wheel well. I like that it's brownish already. As soon as it hits the wheel, It'll start coming out brown. We have to go inside the wheel, the wheel bear. You might think that I'm using a lot of product and maybe I am. But to be honest guys, for like, if you get the gallon for like four bucks, five bucks, you won't be wasting or throwing a lot of money. Sorry guys, I had to switch the sprayer only into this bottle to make it work. So, now it's better. We're gonna go, like I say, inside the, the wheelbarrow, the wheel wheel. One of the things that I like is that this one doesn't smell that strong. It won't give you that choking effect that most of the degreaser does so what we're gonna do right now we're gonna rinse our long handle uh, brush and we're gonna spray it a little bit with the purple power now we're gonna go inside and clean the wheelbarrow And 
this one is actually giving me almost the same results as my 3D does. You guys can see how dirty it is from the inside. Let me rinse it again. We're gonna go one more time. Okay guys, now that we're done with the wheel wheel, now we're gonna do the tire. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna spray with water our brush. Now we're gonna spray the purple power a little bit. And now, we're gonna clean it. I don't see a lot of brownish coming off right now. I don't know if it took it off from the spraying. We're gonna put a little bit more. But look how dirty it is. I don't know if you guys can see, I don't know if the camera can get it, but it's so black. Okay, now it's coming more. You see all the dirt? Those that is coming off, the grease, the grime. So, what I'm gonna do after this, I'm gonna spray it again and see if it comes so clean and white with the purple power. Next, is gonna be our wheel. And for that, we're gonna use our soft uh, brush. We're gonna rinse it, and here we go. One of the good things about this brush is that it's so soft that it won't scratch your rim, and it's so flexible that you can put it even in the tough spots like this, where your finger, if you do it with a microfiber, your finger will hurt. And look how soapy it's coming. Now we're gonna rinse it. And for the last step, what we're gonna do is gonna we're gonna use our wheelbarrow uh, brush. So we're gonna rinse it again. We're gonna throw some purple power and we're gonna go in between. One of the good things about this brush is that you can flex it. But right now we need it all good and straight. Okay guys, so that just happened again. But we're almost down here. So we're gonna see what the result's gonna be with the pull for power. Now we're gonna rinse our brush again. Make sure that you keep it clean. So that way when you go and clean your next car, you don't cross contaminate. So let's see. Okay, so the wheel actually looks very clean. I like the results. I think this one, leave it close to my wheel cleaner. The only difference is that the old, the old wheel cleaner that I use from my wires, the ultimate old wheel cleaner is that it has the iron cleaner. So whenever it touch your brakes and the stuff where the iron residues are, it will break it. 
but this one is no didn't do a bad job right i actually like it and as you guys can see we're gonna wait for it to dry it now we're gonna go again and do one more pass on the tire to see if we can catch any dust that we couldn't get from the first pass but well, we're supposed to be good now we're gonna let it sit for a little bit to see if we can catch any brownish any dust grime dirt or anything that is gonna break right now that couldn't be break in the first pass so we're gonna use again our stiffy brush this one i got it i believe at 3d supplier it's very good it's very stiff for your tires just gonna be good so as you guys can see right now it's i think it's pretty clean no it doesn't have any brownish coming up now we're gonna clean it with the brush and what you guys see is a white cone when the wheel is white or when your degreaser or whatever cleaner you use for your tires and you see that it's not coming brownish then you are a hundred percent sure now that it is clean it's ready for get it dry and put the dress on the tire dressing tire sign whatever it's you guys want to put on it's going to be ready to put it on so my thoughts on the purple power i think it works i think it gets the job done pretty good pretty cheap i'm gonna be doing the super clean as well but so far i like this one i love it to be honest because it doesn't smell bad you won't be choking when you spray it if the wind is against you and it's coming on your way and you spray it and all of that chemical that gets in your face this one doesn't smell bad this one is one of the best degreasers that i've tried so i highly recommend it for you guys uh, and usually my 3d apc that i use i always dilute it one to one this one is full strength so those are my thoughts on the purple power guys i highly recommend it if you want to save some money if you don't want to use a pro product and go on a retail product this one is one good option for you guys so if you like the video please comment like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you guys